Hello everyone. Comparison is the right way to find out the best out of two things. So, here I'm going to compare the text tool of IBS Paintex and Hypaint to conclude which one is the best among the two. This may help you to bring out your imagination using the best tool and best app. I have used both apps for typography design and here are some of them. These are the typography I created in IBS Paintex. IBS Paintex have numerous opportunities to create this kind of typography. And also I have tried typography designs in high paint as well. Here are some. Though we cannot have so many tools to create such kind of typography that we made in IBS Paint X in high paint, but we can try something in high paint as well. I have not made so much in high paint because the tools are not that much comfortable and here I will explain the pros and cons of each app and let you know which one is the best. Here is the one, the best that I made in high paint. So let's get started. Here I have made the comparison of these two tools, these two app in the same screen. On the left it's IBS Paint X and on the right it's high paint. Let's compare both. So first I'm going to click on the text tool from each app and let you know how to use them. So by clicking on this text T symbol, we can add the text to the canvas. And here you can see the layer is empty totally and when I click on this, I able to type the text. Let me type something simple. And just I'm going to type text tool and this is how we can add text in the app IBS Paint text now in high paint it's more or less same just click on this text option and you will get the toolbar to type your text Now we have the text in both app and if you want to increase the space for the tool you can increase by dragging in the both app it's more or less same. Now there are so many other tools inside this tool that we have to see now. Here we have option visible and in high paint it's in the simple icon. If you want to try different font. There is so many font in IBS Paint text you can try. By default, it has 23 fonts you can see here. And if you switch on the Wi Fi or the mobile data connection, you will get more than 3000 fonts you can try. Here you can see once connected, the number of fonts changed to 3000. So you have endless options to try different fonts that may work for you. Can see just by clicking on the fonts will be download to, downloaded to your app and you can use it instantly whereas in high paint you have to click on this small icon and in the font option you have very limited amount of fonts and both they are also of similar font styles and I feel like there is nothing special about the fonts available in high paint but in IBS Paint X, it's totally option. So if you want a different font, definitely high paint is not worth it. And IBS is the best. And for alignment, if you want to align center, left or right, it's going to be same for both the app. So here we have option center and you have to click on this. Next comes the size. If you want to change the size, go to size 
and drag this size bar and you can adjust that parameter and in high paint again it's almost the same click on this size and just adjust the parameter it's almost the same in both the one and here we have so many options other than that and here there is one more option for alignment like you have if you want the text to be in a vertical direction you can try in IBS paint text by clicking on this vertical horizontal or vice versa like that but here there is no option anything like that so if you want to try something like that then you have to go for IBS paint text so that's not possible in high paint and next you can see we can have so many fonts here and if you want further more click on the plus and it will be connected to google and you can download any font that is available under that website very easily here i will show you one example so here the fonts are entirely different i'm going to try this gents font and you can see it got downloaded instantly now click the cross and you can see it's installed and immediately applied to the text but whereas in the case of high paint here when you click on the plus you have to have the fonts in your tablet or any device that you use otherwise you may not install the fonts so that's a drawback basically so next editing the text in terms of color and all those things so if you want to I'm going to keep the text still font still something simple so that it looks better and easy to compare so here if you want to apply any border to your text you can apply easily like outline you can try and if you want to apply outline for the box you can apply and also you can change the uh, brush stroke that used for creating that box and here there is no option except underline and outline in high paint this kind of outline you can get in high paint but you cannot fill with the color in that so if you have want to have a color thick solid one you have to have the normal option and here in ibis paint text you can try different outline colors you can you know change the opacity of that outline or the change the opacity of the text and much more is possible but here just when the tool is on you can change the color by dragging in the color bar nothing else is possible in high paint so other than this underline and outline option and next comes the background if you want to apply background color for this text then click on this background and you can increase the opacity by default the opacity of this background will be lowest like almost zero so that it will give you transparent look if you want to add color just increase the opacity and choose the color you can also adjust the opacity but in high paint we cannot add any background color so this is how it looks after typing and you may you don't have any option to you know change the background color you can only adjust the opacity of the text that you have added next there are few options like horizontal spacing which means the text uh, spacing between the letters and the vertical spacing for spacing between the lines here it looks almost the same like the horizontal spacing gives a spacing between the text and the vertical spacing gives you the space between the lines it's almost same in both the case so something different here and there are few more options and the way that the approach in terms of layers that i will show you now so this is for the ordering and deleting so that's quite simple so I'm just clicked on tick so that the text is added and when I click on outside of the canvas or, or outside of the text bar the text will be added and here you can see 
have been giving me some trouble while clicking on this sometimes so this have you know happened to me uh, you know more often i don't understand what's the problem maybe they de- didn't de- de- develop to that level basically you know they are in the basic level when it comes to text so it's you can see it's hard to manage hard to uh, you know hard to edit and it's basically difficult so anyway i'm keeping it as it is though it's you know it's upside down i'm going to keep it as it is okay if you try rotation also it's not as normal text so anyway next when i add text to the app it will be creating a separate layer for the text here you can see there's a separate layer for text and you have to raster it to make it as a normal layer same in the case of high paint we have the rasterize option to make it as a normal ray layer nothing different but when you add one more text tool and add new text for example here i'm adding second text and this you can move wherever you want inside that layer and both will be added in a single layer like all the text will be added in a single layer but in high paint you can see when i add text it will be added in a separate layer so though it's both are same text and both has to be rasterized they are in a different layer separate layer but in high paint in ibis paint text we have option to arrange them properly make sure which one comes at the front which one comes at the back and all those things can be done very easily and so as the options are very clear and planned they have made the text to be appear on the single layer but in high paint that's quite you know different here you can see if you want to make it as a normal layer you can click on this rasterize and it became a normal layer and same in the case of high paint you have to click on this rasterize to make it as a normal layer so now this became a normal layer and both in both apps and we can do furthermore in the ibs paint x app but not much in high paint basically you can try like any color changing hue saturation things like this or you can try blur bloom motion blur all those things but in ibs paint x the opportunities are endless go to filters and you can try different transforms here different styles and if you go to styles you can get you can see how you can try something different with text in ibis paintix you can try all these tools you can see emboss gives you a really good look for when you want to something like old kind of text or something with some details uh, everything is you know perfect when it comes to ibis paintix so you can see some stroke if you want to try so yeah that's all totally impossible in high paint so as a final outcome and as a conclusion i'm telling you ibis paint text is best for creating typography or any uh, text related purpose that you want to try in your artwork or if you want to try some logo design ibis paint text is the best If you like this video and like the details that I explain thank you for watching subscribe to my channel bye